Hey everyone, so I am finally back with the favorites video and I apologize that by the time this goes up it's probably going to be mid-December and I haven't done my November favorites video yet. Um, I have quite a few excuses but the main one is that I did have the flu about a week ago so I wasn't feeling well enough to film and yeah so I figured I would do a kind of like mashup of my November and December favorites to save time and then for the end of December I was thinking about doing like a top 10 beauty item video for 2012 so leave me comments below and let me know if you would be interested in seeing a video like that and I can definitely do it but for today I'm just going to be giving you an overview of my favorite items for the last month, month and a half, which will encompass November and December. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first favorite I am really excited about, it is this Illamasqua blush, or it's called their Cream Blusher, and it is in the color Dixie. And it is just a really gorgeous, it kind of looks like a corally color in the case, but it applies a little more on the pink side, and I just think this is a gorgeous shade. And believe it or not, this is actually my first cream blush I've ever owned, and I'm really happy with the pigmentation and how it applies, and I have also never used an Illamasqua product before, and I am very happy with it. So if you are interested in trying a cream blush, I would definitely recommend checking out Illamasqua's cream blushers because I have been very happy with this one, and again, it is in the color Dixie. The next makeup related item I have for this video is the Shady Lady Volume 2 eyeshadow palette and it is from the brand The Balm and this is another brand where I have never used their products before but they came up on the website Hot Look and Side note, if you haven't checked that website out and you like to shop, you really need to. Nordstrom is my favorite store, I would say, and they are owned by Nordstrom and they have kind of like these flash sale discount deals and they have a lot of really great beauty brands on there as well as just apparel, shoes, anything you could want. So I will put a link below for that website. But getting back to this, this is just a really nice eyeshadow palette. Um, it comes with nine different shades and they are about the size of MAC eyeshadows and again the pigmentation on these is great. They blend really well. The color payoff is awesome and I thought this one was cool because it has a color devilish Danielle. So I had to get this one and I have just been super super happy with this. So these are really great eyeshadow palettes if you are looking to expand your eyeshadow collection. I have four lip items I want to talk about and I'll try to go through them quickly. The first one is just this tiny little Vaseline and it is called their Lip Therapy Original for Soft Smooth Lips. And I had been having some issues with my lips being really chapped and dry and I picked this up and I just put it on my lips every night before bed and it really helped soften and smooth them out and I just think it's a really great lip product especially for the fall and winter when the weather cools down and your lips get more dry. Now I am very excited to show you guys this lipstick because I don't hear it get talked about a whole lot and it is the MAC lipstick in the color Violetta and it is one of their lipsticks in the Amplified formula and this is just such a gorgeous like really funky purple kind of color, um, a little bit on the magenta side and I absolutely love it. And it is bright so some people might think it might be more appropriate for spring or summer but I wore this a couple of times in the last month and I really like it. You can just wear a lighter eye so your face isn't like super like bam with color. But um, I really like this. I would say this color and Girl About Town are my two favorite kind of bright and bold shades from MAC. So if you are looking for kind of a bright purple lip color, this is a really beautiful one. So the third lip item is this Philosophy Lip Gloss and it is in the... I guess it wouldn't really be color because it's clear, but I guess the scent flavor candy cane, and this smells awesome. It's a really yummy peppermint uh, scent, and it actually is a flavor too. You do taste it on your lips, so that's pretty cool, and it has a little sparkle to it. But I think this is a really great item, especially to give as a gift for the holidays because it's so festive with the flavor and scent. It smells really good on your lips, and it just, gets you kind of in that holiday spirit just because you're smelling it um, and it's just you know a nice average kind of clear sparkly lip balm for every day. The last lip product I have here is this 
YSL Glossy Balm Stain and it is actually what I am wearing on my lips right now and I have only had this for a few days but I am completely in love with this product and I already am thinking about like what other color do I want to get. I had kind of heard mixed things about these. Some people were saying they were really great, lasted really well, but then one of my friends said she had problems with it so I was a little hesitant but when I started trying these out in Sephora I thought they seemed like they worked really well and I was like I'm gonna risk it and pick one up and I have the number five which I don't have the name on the bottom of this here but I will put it in the description box and it is just such a nice formula when you put one coat on your lips it applies as a little bit more of a stain it's not super glossy but if you let the first coat dry and kind of set into your lips and then apply a second one, it gets really glossy and this does wear very well. I wore this through drinking a drink from Starbucks, throughout going shopping throughout the day, and while it does fade, it fades nowhere near as much as any other lip product I have, and I really love this. So it is a little more high-end and pricey, but I think what you get for it and the quality is worth it. So if you are looking for a little splurge or for a really nice stain that will last, because I've experienced ones that don't and then you're disappointed, this is a really great kind of glossy balm stain to check out. Now moving on to more kind of body and bath products. I have here this Ahava Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer for Combination Skin. And I absolutely love all Ahava products. I had picked up quite a few different ones when I was in Israel and this is a product from Israel and I have been super happy with any Ahava product I've tried and recently I was having some issues with my skin being more combination than usual, a little more oily on my forehead but still very dry on my cheeks. So I was looking for moisturizers and I came across this and I was like, man, I really love Ahava and even though this was a little more expensive than I wanted to go, I figured I would try it and I really, really love it. It has a very nice kind of fresh feeling on your skin because of the dead sea salt in it and it has definitely, definitely helped improve my skin from feeling kind of weird, I would say. Um, I don't really have a better way to put it. But like I said, I love all the Hava products. So if you are looking for a new moisturizer, I really like their Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizers. Okay, just two more items left. The next one is a shower gel from Lush. And it is the shower gel in Twilight, which is a limited edition scent. And I was at Lush with one of my friends, gosh, over a month ago, and they had given us a sample of this. I tried it out and I fell in love with it. So I ended up going back and I purchased the little one. Uh, they were sold out of the medium size, so I was kind of sad and I didn't really want to get the large one. So I picked this up and I love this scent. I believe it's part of their holiday collection. So like I said, it is limited edition and it does say that on the label and the funny thing is my friend who I went to Lush with um, remembered that I said I love this and we exchanged gifts the other day and look what she got me it's the bigger size so I'm really happy because I was worried about only having the small one and it being limited edition um, so now I have a bigger one as a backup and I'm hoping this will last me through next year because I also use their flying fox shower gel so I think I'll be good and like I did last time, I just want to give Reggie a shout out because he made both of these and I appreciate his hard work to make us smell nice. Now, my last item for my November, December favorites is, I guess, a fashion item. And it is my Wedge Trainer sneakers. And like others have said before, I definitely think these are kind of like a love them or hate them item. Um, they have a wedge in them and I believe this might be a three inch wedge. So they give you some height. Um, it does kind of have an illusion that these are just flat sneakers, but they aren't. And they are, I guess, getting really popular or had been really popular because of the more high-end designer, Isabelle Morant. She has some shoes like this that had been um, appearing in like a lot of magazines, celebrities wearing them, and I thought they looked awesome. They're kind of like, I don't know, they're a little edgy, but like also a little urban. And I had a hard time finding a pair that was affordable, but well-made and that I liked. And this pair that I have here, I actually picked up from the US Topshop website. They're also available on the one uh, for the UK. I will put the link for these below and they have this kind of like fluffy fake fur 
lining inside. So um, these are really great if you live somewhere where it's cold because they keep your feet nice and toasty. And I just really like the simple black design of these with the kind of rubber bottom. And I have worn these several times and I love them. So that is the end of my November, December favorite mashup situation that we have going on in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you will try out some of these products. And if you do, be sure to leave me comments below and let me know how you like them. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, I don't know, YouTube's changed. So I'm trying to remember where all the things are now. And also be sure to subscribe. I think that button might be below now too. So. I'm all confused, but I will put a little annotation right here so you can easily subscribe. And oh, hi, I have a cute little visitor. Come here. He has to come in the frame. Say hi. Oh God, he hates it when he gets picked up. Hi YouTube. <laughs> All right, so my visitor is gone now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And one last thing, I meant to say congratulations to my subscriber, Morgan. She won my contest that I had over in my Demi Lovato video. So I'm really happy for her. And I want you guys to stay tuned though, because if you didn't win, I will be having another giveaway in the near future. So keep an eye out for it and I will see you all next time. Bye.